And here's another story, and this is this revolves around what, unfortunately, some of us in Jamaica do best, and that is the art of thievery. So let's focus in on this on the story, which again is likely going to go into stories too good to be true. It goes: Men accused of stealing three thirty k. The St. Andrew Central Police charged two men with robbery with aggravation. Final incident on Hope Road, Kingston Ten, last Thursday. Charges are Owe, charged are Owe, Queen Moffat, 30 of Jackson Road, Kingston 2, and Akeem McAlpin, 32 of Goldsmith Via, Kingston 7. Reports about 5.30 p.m., the complaints were walking along the roadway when $30,000 fell from his bag. While attempting to pick it up, McAlpin pounced upon him and brandished a knife. Both men accused me subsequently fled the scene with the money. So just have a hapless, in, hapless individual who was just having a very bad day. A report was made to lawmen who were on the patrol area and accused were apprehended. They were later charged after question and answer interviews conducted. Their court dates are being finalized. Now, if you think that's the end of this story, here comes another story in the same article. Same article. In another case, Carvel Watson, 24, otherwise called Pumpkin, a laborer of clay, clay grown bamboo in St. Anne, was charged for an incident in his community on Tuesday, December 27th last year. Reports from St. Anne's police station St. Anne's Bay Police Station, but the complainant was walking along the roadway, which was post by Watson, who was armed with a white knife. He mended her phone and personal belongings before using the knife to inflict several wounds on her. So now he's a thief, he's just a violent degenerate. A report was made to police, and an investigation was launched, and Watson, rightfully so, was put in a jail cell where he deserved to be. Uh, be after his identified, um, he was Point out in, in an identification parade and was subsequently charged. Now, that's pretty much it for this story. Now, so you have two thieves who robbed a, unwill, um, a very hap a hapless civilian and were then caught. And then you have an even more depraved, villain, de depraved individual who robbed this woman. But not only did he rob her of her, uh, um, robber of her items. He also robbed her of her, uh, robbed her of her dignity and, her, um, and, and, uh, and her um, and the, and the notion and the notion that, she, um, the notion that that she that she could be okay emotionally. Yeah, that's the best way I can put it. But yeah, so you have some thieving individuals who just who was inclined who were inclined to do what they like doing best. Taken from others, whether it's personal belongings or a person's um, right, um, right, to, um, um, person's need for security, personal security, so to speak. Sorry, I slurred my words, but uh, the good, good thing I can say is at least these guys are caught. No, I'm not really going to be um, be be popping the champagne because I want to see what kind of sentences these individuals will get because. We know that this is not going to be appearing in the news after the fact because so many things happen and then not much is far because criminality has been normalized in Jamaica for the longest. So to, to, to most Jamaicans who are reading this, yeah, we'll have an outrage and then we're just going to just let this go quietly down the memory hole until until next next day when we're going to be reading about some more deviants who are preying on innocent civilians. And unfortunately, I wish I could be wrong. I will not be unfortunate. And unfortunately, I will not be wrong. So this is for State of Jamaican Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages, Miles Gusinferen, Magic Productions, your thoughts and miles. All right.